Agent-based applications are probably one of the most exciting areas of building with large language models. These agent applications utilize large language models and have access to memory as well as they can call tools. And it doesn't have to be just one tool. We can add multiple tools and these agents have the ability to select the right tool for the right task. With the latest version of Langflow, agents are even more powerful. So this is a simple agent component. And the way you can access this component is in the sidebar, you'll see the agents tab and you can drag and drop the component available here. So the first thing that you'll notice with the agent application is that there are a few options to select on the component UI. The first thing is to select the model provider. So it comes with a few different options that you can start with, or you can go with a custom option if needed. Now for this particular case, I'm selecting OpenAI and within the models, there are a few different options. We're going to select GPT-40 Mini in this case. This is the key available from your OpenAI console and the agent instructions. So this is where we are going to customize the instructions to the agent. We have an option to either provide agent instructions right in the component, so we can edit the text here, or we can attach a text box to this particular input node. And if we were to click on the node, we'll see that the available options are going to be highlighted in the sidebar. So for this particular use case, we're going to leave the instructions as is and then we come to the tools option this is where you can attach any of the tools available in the sidebar or the cool feature of this new version is that you can pretty much use any of the component in Langflow and convert that into a tool. So we're going to come back to that option in a little bit. For now, we're just going to select the tool option and just drag and drop the calculator as a tool. So this is minimal setup for an agent to use a calculator. Now for our use case, we want to communicate with the agent. So I'm going to add a chat input and a chat output option so that we can use the playground. So if we were to look into the inputs and output, we'll notice that there is the chat input. So we're just going to drag and drop both of those and then connect them to the input and the response option. So with this, now we can actually communicate with the agent agent and perform some tests. And you'll also notice that any of the changes you make in the UI, it's going to be saved automatically for you. So in this particular case, I am using the cloud version of Langflow, which is free. You can access it through astra.datastacks.com and get started with a free account. Or if you like, you can deploy your self-hosted version using the open source Langflow. Now, once we have this set up together, I'm going to go to playground and just ask a simple question, maybe a greeting saying hi. So what happens here is the agent makes a call to the LLM and we can see exactly what happened. So based on our input, we send that out to the OpenAI large language model and then we get a response back. And all of this is happening in 1.2 seconds. And the first time you run agent application, you will notice that it takes a bit longer so that all of the setup is built and is running properly. Next runs are going to be faster. Now, since we added the calculator tool, the cool thing about this setup is that calculator is one of the tools available in the sidebar. It has some description available within the component. So if you were to open the component code, you'll notice that there is a description for this tool. And based on this description, our agent knows that it can use the calculator to perform the arithmetic operations and then it can provide a result based on that. So next question I'm gonna ask is a math operation. So I'm gonna ask what is the difference of these numbers? 
And the way we're going to run it is we are going to hit run component. And if we were to run the complete flow, then we will see the response. So in this particular case, the response that we got is that the result of the difference of these numbers is this available here. And if we wanted to confirm the tool usage, we could go to the playground and then just open the flow of questions. So when we ask that, what is the difference here? It used the calculator tool and then it provided a certain expression as an input to the tool and then it got the output as a response that we were provided at the end. So this is pretty nice. You can also look at the logs to make sure that the tools were properly used. Now, as in any flow within Langflow, you can use this agent application through the playground or you can call the API. And this is going to be helpful if you are calling Langflow as a backend API and then your front end application is making this call to get the response back. There are a few different options. So if you're building using Python or JavaScript, you could tweak the application so you could make changes in any of the parameters for the application from the tweak section. And then at the end, you can call this URL, which can run the agent application for you. Hopefully this gets you started building your first agent application. In the next few sections, we're going to look at some of the advanced topics, including the sequential agents, hierarchical agents, and using agents as tools.